This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, maneuvering and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Good morning, everyone. We just turned that radio down. We don't want to be getting any copyright strikes. Welcome to another POV. Just put my seatbelt on. Um, you join me at just after 5 a.m. It's actually quarter past five now. We've done some checks. And um, we're ready to leave the yard. We've got to go to Chep and Swindon. So I thought I will... Um, drive to Chep and Swindon at night time and do a little bit of POV, something different. Hopefully you enjoy it. I've um, got a lot of good comments on the uh, the last POV with regards to like the angle and whatnot, so I've tried to make it as close as I can. Let me know whether this is good or whether it's bad. And um, yeah, we're trying, we're trying to keep it so it's like this more in the future if, if need be. But yes, it's 20, well, it's 5... 17. That noise you just heard, I'm not entirely sure what that noise is. It does it every time I leave the yard, every time I arrive at the yard, and also every time I get to Tetbury as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the noise is, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I would say it was something to do with, you know, accelerating whilst G-force or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, st a stability warning. I don't know. Someone, if, you, if anyone knows what that noise was, let me know, because <laughs> it bugs me, it does it a lot. It does it a lot. Anyway, let's crack on. I don't know how bright the lights are gonna be um, on the video. I'm just gonna clean my windows a little bit. Get rid of some of the dust that's occurred over the weekend. But yes, if I put my four beam on that, it's really bright, especially when you're in actual dark areas. When you're in actual dark areas, uh, it lights up very well indeed. Very well. So, there's two ways we can get to Chep and Swindon from here. We could go via the M4, A419 M4, come off at Junction 16, or in Bassett, and go to Chep that way. Yes, that's the easy way, but it's also a bit boring. Um, this early in the morning, it's probably quicker just to cut straight through Swindon, so that is what we are going to do cut straight through Swindon. We will have a few roundabouts to to navigate, but uh, that'll be the way we go. I can see in my mirror, my boss is leaving as well at the same time. He got in before me, but he's just leaving now. Yeah, I see him. Um, I don't know where he's going. I, like I said, so today I need to go to Chep and Swindon, as I've already said. I need to get loaded with pallets. That needs to be delivered to Stonehouse. I need to get there for 7.30, which means ideally I need to be loaded um, from Chep by half past six. <laughs> um, I'm going to get there at half past five, so I'm only giving myself an hour to be loaded, so I could... I might have just shot myself in the foot. I'm, I probably should have started a little bit earlier, if I'm honest, but it's Monday morning, <laughs> and uh, I did not want to get out of, out of bed. But never mind, it is what it is now. Um, for me, once I do that delivery to Stonehouse, I've then got to go back to the sawmill, get some wood and deliver that to Silverstone. I'm thinking I might do a vlog today, like an actual proper vlog as well. I'll do the POV this morning, going to Chep, I think. And then I'll also, and then when I'm there, I start a vlog and, um, and do a vlog of the day as well, I think. Two videos in one day, banging them out. <laughs> Okay, we want to go right over this roundabout. But technically it's the next roundabout. All clear to the right. Yes, I've had um, I've had a few comments regarding the last video, saying how good it was, the view was good, and um, a lot of you liked my commentary as well, because you could sort of like 
listen to what I was doing and what I was, uh, well, what I was doing, <laughs> what I just said. You like, you got to excuse me. It's a little bit early in the morning, so my speech is not the best <laughs> at the best of times. But uh, in the morning, it's even worse. I bought my new car from this garage. Well, I say my car, my wife's car. That one there. Yeah, for uh, half past five in the morning, almost. It can be quite busy in Swindon sometimes. Cyclists on the left above the bridge. Don't know if you can quite make that out, so we're just going to be careful. He is on the path, but we've just got to be careful as we pass him because uh, we're quite large. So I'm just checking my near side mirror as I pass him to make sure he's okay, he doesn't fall off. He's all good. Um, did I see blue lights? I did. I got some blue lights in front. Are they coming this way? No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> I think it's an ambulance. It's gone right at the next roundabout, I believe. We are going left. Cool, so we are pretty much in town centre now. Pretty much. We're gonna go straight over this roundabout. This road layout is a bit weird because you have to get into the middle lane and the middle lane sort of starts halfway between lane one and lane two. But we did it all right. Taxi driver is gonna go straight away. We're going to go now, make sure it's all clear, left and right, yes it is, indicate off. Okay, this next roundabout, um, you don't want to turn left at, there is a very low bridge, I think it's like 3.9 metres I want to say, could be lower. 3.1 meters is 10 feet. It's a very low bridge. You, uh, yeah, you don't want to be taking a lorry left. <laughs> Sometimes the sign lights up. Yeah, it's light up look, on the left saying, I don't know whether it's detected me or whether um, it's on all the time, I don't know. But it's quite clear that there is uh, a low bridge there. There's loads of warnings. I don't know whether anyone's hit it. I'm sure they have but I don't recall anyone hitting it. All clear. So that roundabout, I don't know whether you saw, but um, I kind of just went straight over it, straight over both lanes. Check my mirrors beforehand to make sure it's safe to do so. Just to keep my momentum a little bit easier. Also, it stops traffic from coming down the right-hand side of me. Um, if I'm in the very far left-hand lane going around that roundabout, the trail is still gonna cut in anyway. So it just, it just keeps it safe and Stop people from cutting in and, uh, and getting squashed, basically. Let's go around this one. Part-time signals, make sure it's all clear to the right. It is straight round. Like I said, it is relatively quiet this time in the morning. Um, this would be chock-a-block, like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, rush hour traffic. It would be, it would be chock-a-block, but right now, it's uh, it's quiet. It's quicker to go through Swindon rather than around. But yeah, depending on the time, I would um, deter my route. Like if I was leaving Chep, um, well, once I well today, for example, once I leave Chep, uh, even though I want to go to Stonehouse, which is up the A419, I could come back the way I've just that I'm going now. But I wouldn't. I probably would just go straight down the M4, come back off at Junction 15 because it'd be a lot easier at that time in the morning assuming assuming I'm loaded at like half six seven yeah it'd be easier to go back down the M4 I'm hoping it's not busy in Chep if it's if it's really busy and we're queued up to the back then I've yeah kind of messed up a little bit by starting a bit too late I guess we'll see in about five minutes right now we're in West Swindon West Swindon is where I was um, brought up in, pretty much. Spent most of my time in West Swindon. Thank you, 
very much, green light. Not sure of, uh, why it wasn't green in the first place. Should we stop for a McDonald's? Should we see if we can get this through the drive through I don't think that's gonna fit. <laughs> they should definitely do that though, drive throughs for trucks. Oh my God, think of what they would make. Truck drivers going around ordering food. <laughs> drive throughs drive throughs for truck drivers. That's what we need. <laughs> okay, another part-time temporary signal. We've got a car coming around. I think it's going straight over. Yeah, it is. There's no indication on the car, so I couldn't quite tell exactly where it was going, but yeah, never mind. Take up two lanes again, make the, the move slightly smoother. And here we go. So we're now on the final straight bit now to Chep. This takes us all the way down to the M4, pretty much this road. Got a car overtaking me very slowly. There we go. For a second then I thought that was gonna be a car that overtakes slowly, gets in front and then slows me down. <laughs> Sometimes that does happen. But no, they've been all right. Now the car in front has gone a bit further away and there's nothing coming. I want to flash my lights just to see how bright they are at night. Wait for the car to get away a little bit further. That'll do. Right, so four beam off, four beam on. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty bright look. <laughs> they're very bright. <laughs> right, you start slowing down. We want to go left at this roundabout. Indicate left. All clear. Give way line here. So we've got a give way to traffic coming around the roundabout still. Again. Let's go. Okay, right. What are we saying? Are we saying I've messed up and we're queuing up at the back? Or are we saying straight down into the front? Or somewhere in between? hoping we can go almost straight in down to the front. I don't mind being like three or four trucks back. Oh, so far so good, nothing on the roads. Nothing on the road still. Just starting to get in left. Right, we're not queuing outside. That's a good start. How far down are we gonna go? That's the question. We're looking good, you know. There's nothing around here. We'll see what we get around the next bend. Would you, Adam, and believe it, we are either the first truck or the second truck. Let's get around this corner and find out. First truck, there's no one here. <coughs> there's no one here. We are front of queue. That is amazing. And just what we needed. Looks really tight. They've got a lot of pallets here, look. Anyway, that's it for this POV. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We got someone flashing. You want me to just drive straight round? I think he just wants me to drive straight round. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Hopefully it's been enjoyable, something slightly different, being nighttime. I can't believe I've just got let straight into jet. That is unbelievable. That is also very snug in here. 
let's go down to yeah lane number three that's where he wants me anyway thank you for watching until next time drive safe stay safe i'm gonna put my beacons on and i will see you soon bye bye